For commuters who take the G train line, the G train line, I'm sorry, the MTA says the Crosstown line will remain closed on nights and weekends. The agency thought work to modernize the signals and perform maintenance would be completed over the summer, but more needs to be done after crews install new tracks and clean stations. Now, service disruptions are expected until at least next month. The MTA says it could take until 2027 to finish signal upgrades. It is providing free shuttle buses at night. A woman from Long Island who had just moved to Florida says her family got stuck in the state during evacuation. A warnings, evacuation warnings ahead of Milton. Sarah Lutzker now lives in St. Petersburg. She says she tried leaving earlier this week but had to turn back because she couldn't find gas. We expected um, storms and sunshine, but I don't think we expected um, like two, two hurricanes in, in less than 10 days. Lutzker says she was able to make a last-minute supply run and has since kind of hunkered down, hoping for the mm. best, hope she and her family's okay. Yeah. yeah, frustrating for people who wanted to heed the warnings mm -hmm. to evacuate, but, you know, ran into financial and resource issues. Yeah. Now and they're no digging fuel. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the latest with Milton, it's still a Category 1 hurricane, but most of it is now moving well offshore. There is one lone, very light rain band that's still falling along northeast Florida, but that will continue to wind down. Here's a closer look, light rain. Uh, stretching from Jacksonville all the way down towards Titusville, and it has max sustained winds well offshore near 80 miles per hour. That will continue moving east over the next day or so, just tracking well away from Florida and the east coast. Friday, Saturday, and to Sunday. I wanted to show you a map view of the heaviest rain. This is like topping the scale near Tampa, St. Petersburg, Lakeland, all the way towards Orlando, south of Daytona Beach. Rainfall totals over 12 to 15, even close to 18 inches. And winds were very high. We had top gusts near 102 miles per hour, close to Sarasota, St. Petersburg, 101, 97 miles per hour in Tampa, and Bradenton, 96. It's breezy for us, but not that windy and skies are nice and clear temperatures are cooler too down into the 50s for the most part it's 56 in central part that's running about eight degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday winds near seven miles per hour many of us in the 50s but newark 60 57 in islip and montauk 58 for you northwest winds up to seven to 14 miles per hour gusting near 20 in some areas stays windy throughout this afternoon and that's going to make our temperatures that are already below average feel even colder skies are mainly clear and we have a few clouds popping up here and there the, most of the cloud cover that is well north and west of us but we remain dry thanks to high pressure that's settling in future cast keeping us quiet and sunny throughout this afternoon and tonight skies stay clear all around the tri-state and for most of the region that is working in our favor if we do get the chance to see the northern lights there's a very strong geomagnetic storm and that means the northern lights could be visible for the northern tier of the country for our region the best chance is upstate new york and the western part of the state but for the tri-state it could be visible low on the horizon near the city northwest new jersey parts of long island the hudson valley and the catskills you want to get away from city lights and the best time frame 8 p.m through around two to three o'clock tomorrow morning so when it comes to forecasting the northern lights it's very tricky and it gets more accurate closer to the event so make sure to stay tuned for the forecast for the evening newscast today 61 sunny and breezy and tonight 47 tomorrow we have temperatures starting out in the 30s and the 40s that's why there's a frost advisory for new jersey pike sullivan and ulster county we rebound nicely tomorrow afternoon, 67, and for the rest of the seven-day forecast, Saturday, 74, but 69 Sunday and the upper 50s, Tuesday and Wednesday. Here it comes. Yeah, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say the bottom falls out, but right. it's, it's a change. <laughs> Thank you. Next, you know, it's winter. I know. Oh. I know what's happening. Man. Thanks a lot. Coming up next, a popular tennis star calls it quits. No, don't say it, Rafi. Reaction to Rafael Nadal retiring from tennis. Plus, Green Day celebrating the 30th anniversary of his third studio album with a very unique album re-release. Hi, I'm Dr. Darian from GMA3.